So it's become extremely clear that Beerus is still the top dog in Universe 7. Even Black Freezer doesn't stack up to him. However, it does seem more recently that Beerus is lining up a new God of Destruction candidate. Now, if you were following the Dragon Ball Super Granola arc, you would have seen that Vegeta trained under Beerus to use Hakai or Destruction and eventually unlocked Ultra Ego on Planet Serial against Granola and used the form against Gas also, where he was able to use Destruction efficiently after struggling initially on Beerus's planet at the beginning of the Granola fight. However, despite attaining this new powerful transformation that seemingly is on par with Goku's Ultra Instinct form, an angelic form, Beerus in the later chapters post superhero when they're all on Beerus's planet training and sparring, throws the gauntlet down to Goku, the in Ultra Instinct user, in chapter 101. Not only does this happen, a couple of chapters later in chapter 103, the latest arc of Dragon Ball Super Manga, after seeing Gohan Beast, Whis and Beerus have a discussion on Gohan Beast, with Whis seemingly recommending Gohan as a potential God of Destruction candidate. So within three chapters, Beerus potentially retiring and allowing somebody else to become the God of Destruction has cropped up. Clearly, Beerus' retirement is pending and he is seriously thinking about it. This is obviously the Chi-Lai effect. Now the stipulation to become a God of Destruction is to simply surpass Beerus. That's what he tells Goku in chapter 101. Whereas with the Gohan recommendation from Whis, he actually puts it down to Gohan's personality more so than Gohan's power. I do not believe Gohan's at Beerus' level of power as we know that Black Freezer certainly isn't, but ultimately it's more down to Gohan's personality trait of being straight-laced rather than his level of raw power. Broly, who is seemingly matching Gohan Beast at the time of their conversation, isn't being taken into account, and that's likely because of his personality as well, because ultimately he's only just got control of his Super Saiyan power, and when he loses it, he loses it. He doesn't destroy within reason. And obviously, as we know, the gods of destructions and Supreme Kai's are supposed to look after their mortal ratings. Not that Shin and Beerus have done a good job, they are incompetent. And we also know that Beerus isn't offering Goku the gauntlet to become a god of destruction of any universe, or even Gohan for that matter. As he told Vegeta in chapter 27, that Vegeta with Super Saiyan Blue or completed Super Saiyan Blue was strong enough to be a God of Destruction candidate in another universe. As we know, completed Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta was relative to Topo in the Tournament of Power and Topo was the God of Destruction candidate for Belmod. Obviously we know there are stronger mortals in that universe like Jiren, but it does imply that Topo is somewhat relevant to Belmod though in terms of raw power. I believe Belmod has other hacks abilities through years of training, but that's a different story for a different day. So how is it that Vegeta unlocked Ultra Ego and far surpassed Chapter 27 completed Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and can now proficiently use Hakai or Destruction? Why isn't he being offered the gauntlet to become the God of Destruction candidate? He was right there where Goku was. Obviously we know Goku isn't interested in the role of God of Destruction and it's possible that Vegeta isn't either. But Beerus is clearly throwing the challenge down to Goku, not Vegeta. He's singling in out Goku. So here are the big questions I want you to consider and let me know your thoughts on down in the comments section. Has Vegeta mastered his Ultra Ego form or even completed his Ultra Ego form? As we know with Ultra Instinct, it has many different variations. We've got completed Ultra Instinct, perfected Ultra Instinct, true Ultra Instinct. Will Vegeta have a similar line of progress with Ultra Ego? Whilst Vegeta what has proven in Superhero that base to base is a match for Goku, maybe his Ultra Ego isn't at the level of Goku's silver haired Ultra Instinct state when Goku can keep his heart calm. Is this the case? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Or has Vegeta given up on Ultra Ego? Does it not fit him after all? Looking forward to knowing your thoughts on this. I'm going to offer a reason right now on why Beerus doesn't rate Vegeta's transformation of Ultra Ego, at least yet. After all, he is offering it to Goku with Ultra Instinct and Angelic Technique. Despite the fact at the beginning of the Granola arc, he told Vegeta that God's Destructions don't really go around using Ultra Instincts because it goes against the nature of what their job is, which is obviously destruction within their universe. And we know Goku can use like a fake or quasi version of destruction that's not quite destruction as we saw against Merge Zamasu, but it's not real Hakai Vegeta certified knows real Hakai. Vegeta has proven he has the right mindset 
and for all intensive purposes he has proven during the granola arc that ultra ego is relevant to ultra instinct here is challenge vegeta with proving that destruction was a better more proficient technique than ultra instinct or mastery of self movement at the beginning of the granola arc and during that arc we literally see ultra ego compete better against granola than ultra instinct did after all we actually see goku getting one shotted against granola whereas ultra ego vegeta forces granola to power up further later in the arc we see ultra ego against gas doing better than ultra instinct was doing now there are reasons for that and we'll delve into that in just a moment however it must be noted that true ultra instinct which is basically ultra instinct sign with emotions does manage to seemingly overtake ultra ego again as we see throughout that arc vegeta continuously gets stronger throughout that arc because with ultra ego the more damage he takes the stronger he gets he has damage and packs basically with the form he shows this against both granola and against gas and with this type of hacks he can ultimately grow limitlessly there are no boundaries to his upper limit that doesn't mean he has an infinite amount of power guys that's something completely different it just means that as long as he can withstand the damage he will keep growing in power however it's a double-edged sword because he does have a limit to how much damage he can take even in that form and once he receives too much damage as we saw against granola as we saw against gas and ultimately freezer managed to do it in one shot you can override the damage amp that vegeta gets by delivering a blow that's that damn powerful and herein lies the problem and what i believe beerus would consider a no-go for beerus for vegeta to become the god of destruction candidate because that weakness isn't necessary to use destruction in the same manner that beerus uses it now whilst vegeta does get stronger every time he gets hit the more he gets excited about fighting he seems to grow in power which you could argue also is interrelated with the way saiyans are so it's a natural fit for a saiyan being a warrior race every time vegeta gets hit it drives up that fire for battle his thirst for battle sending him deeper into the mind state of destruction as beerus tells vegeta at the beginning of the granola arc when training vegeta beerus's mind is always on destruction that's why there's no limit to his power these ultra forms both ultra ego and ultra instinct are states goku has to keep his heart calm and go deeper into that state to grow in ultra instinct vegeta has to go deep into the state of destruction to increase in power of ultra ego Whilst they both, as well as Beerus, have a base level of raw power in those states, they can mid-battle elevate that level of power by getting deeper into that state. However, Beerus doesn't need to take damage to get deeper into that state. So, as Beerus is now Vegeta's master, is he simply challenging Vegeta to find a way to go deeper into the state of destruction without the need for taking self-defeating damage? Whilst we know in the granola art, Vegeta hadn't got to Beerus's level as he basically admitted it when fighting against Granola. We do know that he got a bit stronger against Gas and then he's had circa over a year of training post Planet Serial. And then during the superhero arc, we've seen that he's learned from Jiren and his utilization of key efficiency and strengthened himself further. But we don't know much about how he's advanced his ultra ego form. Even in the fight against the other Saiyans in chapter 103, he only goes into blue evolution when trying to fight Gohan Beast. Now I find it hard to believe that Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta could compete with Gohan Beast when Silver Haired Ultra Instinct failed. I just believe that Vegeta also probably feels that Ultra Ego, with its weakness of having to take damage to get stronger, needs to be improved and advanced to the point where he can just go into destruction the way Beerus does by deepening the mind state of destruction without the need of taking damage. Which is why he's taking other means of training such as Jiren's key efficiency training and meditation. And just like it was advocated in the Granola Art that Goku should only use his silver head state as a final means as his strongest weapon or a last resort as we put it I believe Vegeta will only use Ultra Ego as a last resort and this is why I think Beerus doesn't rate Vegeta's Ultra Ego transformation it's not that he doesn't rate the transformation and where it may go he just doesn't rate where it's currently at with its double-edged sword status. I do believe we'll see Vegeta use it as a last resort if he has to, but I believe now he's focusing on finding a way to enter destruction without the need for taking damage. So that's why Beerus doesn't rate Ultra Ego as it currently is. 
and he isn't offering Vegeta the God of Destruction candidacy. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. I'm looking forward to reading them. Smash a massive thumbs up on the video and lend me your energy. Until next time, Ad Astra.